Hi, welcome to your Shipper Update. I'm Mike Vincent. He's Anthony Smith, our lead economist. How about you, man? You giving out IOUs for Christmas this year? None. If None? you don't get anything, you don't get anything. Uh, <laughs> it's not in stock, you're out of luck. It's out, you're out of luck. I mean, <laughs> better luck next year. <laughs> better luck next that's year. It, that's it. Um, <laughs> I love that attitude. I'm the economist that stole Christmas. I don't know. <laughs> I don't but know. I have to talk about what's happening upstream. Let's get on it. And there's something, if you were just looking at the headlines, it might be slightly oh. concerning, but I'm here to alleviate some of the concerns. All so, right. Good news. On a know, Tuesday? On a Tuesday. Sweet. It's not even Thursday yet. It's, it's Christmas not even Christmas on Tuesday. Yet. Exactly. So, if you, of course, as you know, we have the Daily Watch. It goes out yeah. every Monday through Friday. Then we have the Daily Outlook if you're a Sonar subscriber as well. Sure. It goes out on Sunday, and that is going to really tell what all the market experts, including myself, Zach Strickland, Mike Baumdissel, Donnie Gilbert, all these people, Henry Byers, think about the upcoming week, what we're yeah. expecting, and all this other good what, stuff. What is online for this week? Exactly. And so yeah. my weekly outlook was over housing starts and industrial production. Okay. So we just got housing start data, and it showed that there was a 1.7% downward movement. Ooh. And in industrial production, we also saw that there was a significant decline, the steepest decline that we've seen since February. Are so no one kidding? of the things I outlined in that is don't get too caught up in the numbers because there's more momentum behind it than what it may seem. So okay. starting it off with housing starts, this number just got updated today at 8.30 a.m. If you were just chomping at the bit to see what those latest housing starts numbers were, okay. don't worry, I looked into it already. And so you down, got you covered. Got you covered. So down 1.7% on a month-to-month -month basis. Mm -hmm. um, not too much cause for concern. Not because there, I, I, I get cause for concern when there's a lack of demand. When mm -hmm. demand starts waning, when consumers are in a bad position, gotcha. when something is just eroding and the, the entire variable that is, you know, housing starts or upstream movements with manufacturing. What okay. we're seeing right now, of course, is what we've been seeing the entire year, and that's a downward movement with uh, so the, the constraints. And so there is a ton of shortages. There's a ton of labor So the constraints. starts are not because no demand. Right. It's because it can't start. They can't start. And so... Homes that are authorized but not yet started on a year-over-year -year basis are up okay. 40%. Well, there you go. Yeah, so, that's, that's uh, a little bit different than 40% less permits being exactly. applied for, right? Exactly. And so, yeah. I mean, we did see, I think, permits are down 7.7%, .7%, but builders are starting, starting to hold back. You know, they're not taking on well, as many projects. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that, that would make sense. If you got 40% sitting backlogged yeah. to even start, why yeah. do you need more permits? <laughs> yeah, and on top of it, starts are taking longer, so completions are taking longer. Um, to really, really yeah. ramp up from what we've seen historically. So there's all these things happening upstream. So look at the headline number. There's more going on. There's an underlying trend. So if you see, okay, housing starts are, are coming down, the bubbles eroding, you know, busting yeah. and all that stuff. Not there's true. underlying trends right now. There's still tons of demand. Inventory is still very low. Um, in our next chart here, Michael Vince, I'm going right. to kind of talk to a little bit here. Industrial production. This was one of the ones I was talking to just yesterday because it just got updated yesterday. And my weekly outlook for this one was like, don't be surprised if there's some downward movement here um, because the number is going to be stronger than what it appears. So okay. one of the big things within this, of course, is going to feed into our flatbed outbound tender rejection index. And one of the areas that we've been talking about, I love the faux try. I know you do. One of the areas that we've been talking about is there, even if we start to see downward movement in production, if we see downward movement in even consumer demand, we're still yeah. going to see volumes elevated just because there's so much backlog to go through. Interesting thing with industrial production right now. So we starting to see some downward movement here, but that's yeah, not because there is a lack of, you know, actual production going on or that there's not, there doesn't want to be more production, that the, the, the market doesn't want to move. The market wants to move. Um, as you know, one of the biggest areas that really has a huge shortage right now, automotive. Sure. There's a huge demand for, for cars, yes. light vehicles, things like that. In our next chart, we're going to look at industrial production for motor vehicles and parts. Down. Wow. <laughs> it's down, 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 down. Well, and yeah, so, well, that's because you, you go buy a, a, an automotive a dealership and there's like one car there. There's nothing there. Yeah. And so there's these shortages. I was talking to Donnie Gilbert. He made a funny point. You have the steering wheel's not there. You can't sell the car. There's yeah. a micro trip's not there. You can't sell the car. But you can move these car parts across the country, mm -hmm. get them in place, start manufacturing these raw materials, these commodities. You can get them in place. So volumes are still going to be up. C capacity is still going to be tight. But when we're looking at what's going on with actual recognized production, that car can't leave just yet. So production is yeah. going to look like it's down for some yeah. time, but there's still tons of momentum left in the tank here. Gotcha, gotcha. Excellent, excellent, excellent points. Thank you very much. Go past the headlines, folks. That's what he's telling you. Look for the details. Don't get sucked into it. Exactly. Right? Exactly. Excellent stuff.